Hi, my name is Dr. Aoife Coffey and this is FAIR in 5 minutes. The FAIR principles are a dramatic shift in the world of research and research data management. They are intended as guidelines for best practice in the management and stewardship of research data with a focus on the sharing and ultimate release of valuable research outputs. And there are a lot of reasons why the FAIR principles are important. They can help gain maximum potential from your data, increase visibility in citations, and have the potential to improve reproducibility and reliability of research. Some of the reasons behind FAIR are less tangible. There's the potential of big data to solve global threats, and new research avenues established through linked open data. But more grounded day-to-day -day reasons why you as an active researcher should pay attention to FAIR is that funding bodies are on board with this, as are the major publishers and journals. FAIR and open data is here to stay. All researchers know that their data is valuable, but maybe they've not always realised that their data can have a life beyond the completion of a project, or had the skills, tools or know-how to allow for maximum exploitation of their research outputs. Conventionally, many research outputs or data ended up in a data graveyard. They are lost or corrupted or forgotten about, but there is a better way. Making data fair is all about making the outputs of research more generally and widely available. Ultimately, making data fair is like drawing a map, including the key, and providing instructions on how to open the box of data. And to do this, you need to put yourself in your future self's shoes. Like 20 years from now, when this data is a distant memory, what would you need to use it again, to reproduce it, to trust it? By sharing data openly and making it fair, you are agreeing that these data will be kept in perpetuity. So it's important that it's worth the effort and done correctly. FAIR stands for findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. The idea being that if you manage your research data in such a way that you achieve the first three, you get the fourth for free and your data is reusable. First, we make the data findable. This is like attaching a big neon sign saying, I'm here, I'm here, X marks the spot. To do this, you need to attach a unique and persistent identifier, like a DOI. You also need to wrap your data in rich contextual information, the instructions and the recipe. It's the data about your data, and it's called metadata. Getting the metadata is right is vital. It informs all other aspects of your affair. And ultimately, data without data cannot be reused. Next, and also important, you need to make sure it's indexed. Indexing means you've put it in the yellow pages. Like a book or a map in a library, it's been catalogued. So if people search, they will find it. Making data accessible is really simple. It means don't fix what isn't broken. To get your data, people should be able to use a standard protocol like a HTTP link. So anyone with a computer and the internet should be able to find your data. However, this does not mean it's completely open. You can restrict access. But the key or instructions to your data should always be clear and openly available. Your metadata should always, also always be open and available. So your data can be as open as possible, but as closed as necessary. The trouble with interoperability is that it means different things to different people. Interoperability is about the ability to open, unpack and understand the data. And there is a spectrum from human-centric to machine. But at its most basic form, it means that the system and language used to create your data and metadata are defined, widely understandable and compatible. So like a missing jigsaw piece, your data can be integrated or compared with the bigger data picture. And this data picture or mosaic can be within your discipline or wider applications. It can be human readable and understandable, or it can be machine, or it can be a bit of both. The main thing to remember is that it's not as complicated as it seems. Where your discipline has established norms, you go with that. So we have drawn a map, it's findable. We have given people the key, or at least the instructions to get the key, it's accessible. And we've put the data in a package they can use, it's interoperable. And here's the freebie, it's reusable. Your data is ready to fulfill its future potential. There are a few finishing details to take care of first. You need to assign a usage or copyright license, something like Creative Commons, and you should ensure that your metadata and data are associated with their origin and provenance. To sum up, FAIR principles are the gold standard in research data management, and you need to be aware of them and use them to your advantage. They are widely supported and adopted by funders and journals. 
They represent value for public money spent on research because the data is collected once but has the potential to be used many times. They provide a coherent framework or roadmap that facilitates data sharing and open data. For you, the researcher, they can increase the impact and longevity of your research. They can increase your citations and give you greater opportunities for collaborations or partnerships. They also promote research integrity, increase transparency and reduce duplication. Hopefully I have convinced you that the FAIR principles are fair enough and can be of real benefit to your research projects. To follow these guidelines and make your data FAIR, design and implement a data management plan. And when your project is complete, upload your data to one of the many research data repositories. Thank you for listening.